Ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen and ladies. Ladies and gents. Welcome. And let me, let me show you, let me show you the way to go. Now, you know what? I don't know much about everything. But you know, there's one thing that I guarantee you I do know. I know. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about helping you guys with your small claims case. Remember I told you that's what this series is for, to empower you, giving you power. Hey, thank you, Jacksons. Ladies and gentlemen, underneath the sun. Hold on now. We can do it. Let me show you. Let me show you. Sorry. Couldn't 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 pass it up. This is my song, y'all. I decided to go back there today. And I, I don't mind being back here. All right, let me explain something to you. There was a young man whom I was helping with his mortgage. And this particular young man didn't listen to me. I told him what he needed to do, and he lollygagged. He did like many of you. I tell you, you need to do this, you need to do that, and you don't do it. Then you come back to me after it hits the fan. After you get it all over everything, yourself, your grandmama, and the baby's mouth, and the baby's eating it like it's tender. And then you want to ask me to come help you dig yourself out of that hole because you didn't listen to me. Now, hold on now. He didn't listen to me again and dug another hole. And now he's still coming to me. I'm feeling sorry for him because I don't want to charge him, but I got to charge him. Because what? I'm having to spend time doing this. Take away from helping the other people who are ahead of him. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't normally do documents for people. So to offset everything, I'm going to do this for you guys, which will help him. He put his petition in small claims court, and he received today a letter from the court. And the letter is from an attorney wanting to have the case removed to a different court. Well, ladies and gentlemen, hold on. Let me show you something. I want you to see. This is, this is the state of Michigan. The law supporting the conclusion that attorneys are not permitted to represent parties in small claims court in Michigan is found in Michigan court rules, specifically Michigan court rule. 4.201a, which states, an individual may commence a small claims action without an attorney in the district court. The rule explicitly prohibits the representation of parties by attorneys in small claims court proceedings. Therefore, the prohibition on attorneys representing individuals in small claim court is based on Michigan court rules, which mandates that an individual must represent themselves in such cases. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the reason why this is important because that's why you're going to small claims court. See, they can't use all the laws and procedures and all that against you. Small claims court is very simple. The rules are very simple. And if you're too lazy, you heard what I just said. If you're too lazy to go over the rules, pay attention. If you're too lazy to go over the rules, then that's your fault. Ladies and gentlemen, this is only six pages. These are the rules. These are the rules. It's simple. Six pages, okay? And not all of it applies to you. All right, now, that's the first thing. Now, the petition that I supply to people, go back and look at the video, Small Claims, just type that in. The petition that I supply to people, this is the thing about sole proprietorships and corporation. If you're following a corporation, you must be a full-time salary employee for the corporation, and you must have knowledge of the facts of the claim. If you're following on behalf of a partnership, you must be one of the partners. If you're following on behalf of a sole proprietorship, owner of a business, you are not the owner and you are not the owner. You must be a full-time salaried employee of the sole proprietorship. If you're following as an individual and you are not that individual, you must be the individual guardian, conservator, or next friend. There's your point right there. This is how you can represent someone in small claims court as next friend. Look up the definition for the state. Fall within the definition. There you go. Can I have an attorney? If you decide to file a claim in small claims court division, an attorney cannot represent you. 
However, if a defendant wants an attorney and a defendant can demand that the claim be removed to general civil division of the civil court, see, they can do that. That's if they want an attorney because you have the right to an attorney. The only problem is I have a right to file small claims. So now you have to offset that. So no, but here's the thing. Pay attention. If the defendant pay attention to the wording, because this is very important, very important. If the defendant wants an attorney, the defendant can demand a claim be removed to general civil division, not the attorney. And that's where they messed up. And by the way, since they messed up, sorry, you got to follow the rules. And the attorney was supposed to know the law. And because the attorney didn't follow the rule, ta-da! They don't get to follow the rules whenever they feel like it. Ladies and gentlemen, that's just one point. The other point is you have a right to be in small claims court. The rules are more relaxed and you're there for that reason. The rules are more relaxed. Okay? That's why you're there in small claims court. You're also there in small claims court because of the filing fees. You're not there to make it convenient for a defendant. If they didn't want to be in small claims court, all they do is provide the accounting information that you needed. So let's go back over to Bard. Bard has wrote our petition. It, this is going to take me about an hour to an hour and a half to complete for y'all. Okay? Because what I have to do is we're going to do the same thing we just did earlier. I want to modify this and I want it more professional. Now, we don't need it to be professional, but we're going to have it be a little bit more professional. Okay? Now, remember, you can't just take something from Bard to chat GPT and throw it into the court. Okay? They've been making attorneys look stupid for doing that. You have to take it and reword it. Okay, you have to take it and reword it. You don't have to reword every word, but you have to reword it. You have to add your own feel to it. It can be 20, 30, 40% um, computer generated. In other words, it can be that the computer produced it for you. Now, we did more professional. Now we're going to do just a tad bit longer. I wanted at least four pages because I got to highlight some things. Now, he didn't include the case citations that I gave him. And that's what I'm about to do now, because you're going to see very few case citations. Very few. He puts the Michigan laws in there, but he doesn't put any case citations. And watch this. Let me show you. Let me show you the way to go. Put your hand in mine. We can do it. We can do it. We can. Should I put you guys on pause? No, I ain't putting y'all on pause. Y'all don't deserve to be on pause. Hold on. Sorry. Uh, I'm looking for something in particular and I don't see it. I think, nope, this ain't it either. I need, because I gave it a total of eight laws. Is this it? That it? That ain't it. I think that might be it, but I don't look like it. It don't look like it. It just don't look like it. So let's hold on. Let's do that and see. Nope, that ain't it. So what I have to do right here, watch this. We do this right here. We take this. We come up. Okay, we take this right here, we copy this, showing you how I'm putting together the document. Didn't show you how we did the document initially, but I'm showing you how I'm putting it together now. So y'all better pay attention. Copy, because I need to do another paragraph. And that's how we do the next paragraph. All right, now we get the next set of laws. That's where he did the motion in the first place. And I don't need that one. I need the case text that I gave them. So let's take this one. Because I asked him for two cases. He gave me this one. So this one I need. I don't need the top one. The top one is where the court ruled against the individual. But it shows that an individual can bring such a claim. So this is where he provides these two. And he explains. And I come back to him. And I ask him a little bit more. 
just a little bit more, a little bit more. And then it gives me these say this six cases. Okay. So now I take these six. I got one more to do. Yeah, let's do that. Copy. I, I don't feel like correcting it. I'll correct it in a second. Enter. Go back up here to the top, to the tippity tippity top. And we get rid of all of this right here. Yeah, I get rid of that. And then I I got to get my spacing again. Uh-oh, can't do it that way. And come on now. Get in there. Not there, right there. Come on. Ah, okay, it did do it, but I didn't see it do it, so... That's what was taking so long. Yeah, that's good enough. I don't need three. Copy. Then I scroll down to the bottom. I got one more thing I got to add. That's why I'm doing this, y'all. So y'all just hold on. Hey, if I'm doing this for y'all, then y'all got to sit up here and just tolerate it, okay? Tolomeration. And copy. And now we come up here, and I'm going to do it one more time because i got to get my spacing. And we just need this one right there. Copy. Up, 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 and away. Wake up. You did not incorporate any of my citations or... Captions for cases, comma, I need you to include within the contextual framework of my petition, comma, my case citations and the contextual framework without changing the context of my presentment, exclamation mark. Why would you sit up here and give me this junk without following my instructions? Question mark. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, it is necessary. Now, this is the second motion I've done today. The first one took me a little bit over two hours. And again, because I technically already know what I need to put in my motion, all I needed to do is just give me a template. And so while it's giving me a template, I'm going to let you see what it's doing right now. Now, he didn't put in, that's only one case. Okay, two cases. He only put in two cases. Watch this. Wake up. Wake up. Why do you keep trying to play me for a fool? I gave you... Twelve case citations, and you only use two? Question mark. I asked you to incorporate all of them within context, comma, redo what you've done, comma, and stop wasting my time, exclamation mark. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, what he does is the bare minimum because that's how he's programmed. Okay? He does the bare minimum. Now, right now, you see how he didn't provide what I asked for? And let's see this one. He didn't provide it here either. And he didn't provide it here. Again, this is what he does. So I don't have to reiterate. Why would I have to repeat myself? I just hit the refresh button. Make him repeat himself. And I'll keep doing it until he does it. Aw. Aw. He wants to reword it.
Give me one second. And he's going to, I'm going to pause y'all while I take care of him, okay? Because I just have to keep going through this. One second. Ladies and gentlemen, he said he did provide what I asked him. He said he interwoven the information within the petition. And I basically told him, no, you didn't. You're going to redo that, mother. And this is, this is our conversation now. And we'll see. So like I said, you guys will get several different versions of the petition. No. Do as I say I D and S T O P S T A L L I N G. Stop stalling. Oh, uh, yeah, I gotta change that. I can't. That 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 that, that S Y A L L. Let's stop him. Oh, I did it again. Ah, it's because I'm trying to move too fast. Y'all hold on a second. Let me get him to do it right. He knows exactly what I want, but now he's telling me he's working on it. He's working on incorporating the 12 citations into the cases like I asked him to. See, I'm working on it, putting it directly in there. Give me one second while I take care of his, his stupidity. Okay, I think we finally got what I'm looking for. This is not as long as I want it to be. So we're going to do this so that I can keep... Well, you know what? Let's make sure. Because I got to see the cases. And you notice the cases are not here. So he's going to claim he did that. So let us let me put y'all on pause again so I can get him to give me what I want. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, he did provide what I needed, what I asked him for. He did add the case citations like I told him to. And he did add the table of authorities because I asked him for table of authorities and table of contents. So he gave me a table of authorities. So now I say, uh-uh, mm -mm. you're going to give me more professional. And so we click on the more professional. Um, those of you who have been waiting on the incarcerated document, I need you to give me... Well, because I keep getting those things where individuals are asking me for stuff like this, that interferes. And I'm still working on the mortgage thing. So bear with me with the writ of certiorari. We are still working on that. We'll get that out to you guys, okay? Haven't forgotten. Have not forgotten. All right? We decided to not call it a writ of certiorari. We're going to call it a petition for redress. Because we have the right to petition the government. And since the Supreme Court of the United States represents the judicial branch of government. See how he stopped? Look at him. He just stopped. And that's intentional. So let's stop this. Let's get his response. Whew. Okay. He did that on purpose. So what we have to do is we have to regulators. Mount up. One second. It completed it, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm just having it do it just a little bit longer. He brings up the points that need to be brought up. Now I'm going to take it over to the Google Docs, and I'm going to edit the document in Google Docs, and then I'm going to provide the link like I did in the previous video for Google Docs and for BARD. For those of you who need a response to a petition for notice of removal from small claims court to their regular court. Okay? Now he did not give me longer. This is not longer. So now I have to make him do it again like the staple singers let's do it again let's do it in the morning sweet breeze in the summertime feeling your sweet face all laid up next to us. you know this one might work yeah because he is giving me case text and he's giving me unwarranted effort devoid of merit oh look at that he's using legal words Upholding the fundamental right to petition for redress. Mm, 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 mm. Now that one might work, y'all. And I'll change some of the wording around. 
Yeah, see, this one's too short. Uh, too short. This one's too short. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the second one. Because this one, I asked him for more professionalism and the longer. So he did what he's supposed to do. And watch this. Prayer for relief. Tiki talkie, tiki talkie. And we come all the way back up here to there. Hold on now. Got it. Uh oh. I it just keeps doing that, and I just I hate it. I don't want all of that at the top. I just want this right here. Come on now, go all the way down to the bottom. Copy. Then we go C O N T I N U E colon. Ta da! Enter. Oh, C I N. Centenue. Bicentenue. There we go. Uh, to further underscore, he didn't continue though. Look at what he did. That's not what I asked him for. He he is giving me a table, but I didn't ask him for that. So I gotta have him redo this. Okay, so while he's doing that, because it's absolutely, positively, doodly necessary, I'm going to come here, and we're going to go right here, right here. I ah! I wasn't trying to do that, y'all. Hold on. It, it moved things around. It wasn't supposed to move things around. So we're going to do this. Export to docs. It's going to create the document. And then it's going to ask me to open the document. Open docs. And now I got to come back to BARD. This ain't. Uh uh. Hold on. I'm just asking him to complete it. It doesn't make any sense that he would stop there. But it does make sense, but it doesn't make sense at the same time. Okay, so you see, he he's giving me the prayer for release, table of authority. That's what he was supposed to do. And he's giving me the statutes. Certificate of Service and Signature. Signature. Yeah, we still got to go up some more. See? Okay, see how he gives me the prayer for relief? All right, so now what I do is I take this, copy, and we come over here to Google Docs. And what we're going to do, we're going to go way back, back in time. Big if you will, my picture. C's, V's, VP's, all it trembles inside. Now, what we do is we get rid of the wherefores right there, and we V. We incorporate. All right? And now I got to get rid of all of these extras. And now I'm going to put y'all on pause. Go back. I got to put y'all on pause while I take care of this stuff because this stuff needs to be taken care of. It ain't supposed to be doing all that hopping and skipping and bopping and beebity whopping. Yeah, I did it again. All right, we'll leave it like that for now. Let y'all take care of it later because I ain't got to be bothered with all of this having to deal with y'all stuff. All right, so that takes care of that. All right, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I got to go polish it up, add some stuff to it, and we got to get rid of this, and I got to do the caption the correct way, so I got some work to do, all right? So we talk to y'all in a minute. Take care. Be right back. Pausing y'all now. Ladies and gentlemen, wanted to make this really quick. Went ahead and finished the document, and you're going to see most of the laws deal with the state of Michigan. 
what you're going to do is you're going to take the document, every paragraph, you're going to put it in chat GPT, and you're going to ask for, let me give you an example. Let's take prayer for relief. This one right here. Watch this copy. There are some things that I do have to correct, and it's this one right here, because you see these ones right here? So we're going to make this A, we're going to make this one B and C, instead of 1, 2, and 3, because, and I just noticed it, uh-oh, C, i got to change this to B, can have two A's. Now you see that right there, and then this is D, and then this is E, and this is the last one. That is Edward. All right. There you go. Now, watch what I'm going to do here. See these? They're in line with the paragraphs. I don't want them in line. I want them indented. Indented. So I do the tab button. See what the tab did? And let's do this. We're going to bold that. Because we want to highlight this. So remember, I took this paragraph right here. Let's do that right now. Right here. Copy. And I'm going to go to Bard. Wake up. I need three case citations for the state of California small claims court that supports the following conclusion. Colon. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, I, the pause there was because I had moved uh, my device to get the name of the system for the cameras, and I had to put that back. I forgot I never put it back. So that's what the pause was. I had to be careful. Didn't want to break anything or mess up anything. Okay, see, he is talking about out of state, but here's the thing. This case emphasizes the plaintiff's broad discretion in choosing the form in California, particularly in situations involving consumer blah, blah, blah. And you see how he just gives me California cases? So you're going to do the same thing. While these cases don't directly deal with the issue of removal, they all uphold the plaintiff's preference for the chosen form. That's what you're going to do. You're going to take each paragraph that says Michigan, and you're going to find the case citations that apply to you. And watch this. H-O-S-E's are not A-C-C-U-R-A-T-E. They're not accurate. And so we make him do some thinking. Let the he apologize if the citations provided previously are inaccurate or not direct to the situation. My goal is to assist to provide. Nope, that's not the answer to my question. Let's make sure. California case is relevant to your... I understand your frustration. Nope, not the answer to my question. Hold on now. Uh uh. Let's get them to do it again. I've apologized. Citation provided uh, is important. Could you provide, please, and tell me what you're looking for? Nope, we're not doing that. No, you just going to give me what I asked for. Now, this is the way you do it. He's actually telling me by not telling me that the, it is accurate. So let's do it one more again. Now, I'll tell you how to correct it. See, I said that's not accurate. Those are not accurate. There's an easier way of doing it, and we're going to give that to you guys so that we can go ahead and let you all get back to y'all days. So what we're going to do, since he wants to be stupid, we're going to just say V-E-R-I-F-Y-P-L-E-A-S-E. -E. We're going to be nice. We're going to say please, okay? Then I'm going to give him peace of my mind. But that's how you're going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to get the link. Pay attention. You will get the link to the case. 
Okay, so he is verifying the cases. So that's how you get him to verify, all right? But you're going to get the link to this document. That is, like I said, for the state of Michigan, you will amend it to fit your state, okay? This way I don't have to do three or four documents. This is for one person, but I'm making it for all of y'all. You see that right there? All done and dandy. All done and dandy. This is your template. All right, now watch this. We're going to... Share and tell, that's the game I play. And you see the link is copied. It'll be in the description. No, we got to put the BARD link in the description. So we're going to put this. Oh, no, we're going to put this in the description. The BARD link is going to go up top. All right. Got to go. Take care, y'all. Out of here.